Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Lifters. And what makes Sculptor's Cut rare or uncommon? Released for the Nintendo 64, May 15th, 1998. Clay Fighter was a Blockbuster video exclusive, meant to only rent it from Blockbuster. The follow-up to the lackluster Nintendo 64 game with a similar name and play style, Clay Fighter 63 and a third. Sculptor's Cut is a claymation fighting game that featured four new characters, new movesets for certain characters, a combo system, and new storylines. It is believed that Blockbuster in its prime had a total of 9,000 stores. It's over 9,000! 9,000? You gotta be kidding me! Each store had at least two copies. 9,000! Which meant 18,000 copies were in circulation. Employees have said that there were more than 20 plus thousand copies in circulation. Once Blockbuster closed its stores in 2007, they liquidated their stock to customers and local vendors. Since the video game collector mentality has made a huge comeback, as of late, Sculptor's Cut has become one of those games that are not necessarily hard to find or rare, but instead too expensive to warrant the price. eBay sellers have sold loose copies of Sculptor's Cut for as high as $600 Canadian or $450 American. Complete copies have sold for more than $2,300 and $1,700 American. And the complete sealed copy has sold for in the upwards of 4,000 Canadian and 3,000 American. With all these factors, does that make Sculptor's Cut rare or uncommon? Due to the simple fact that there were nearly 10,000 copies available and numerous copies sold on eBay, the use of the word rare doesn't quite fit the bill. Rare is described in the Webster's Dictionary as seldom occurring or found. That fact alone shows that Sculptor's Cut doesn't represent the word. Now, as for uncommon, the Webster's Dictionary defines the word as not ordinarily found. So this definition has a slight better chance at being located. Due to the fact that eBay listings have a listing just about almost every day, maybe five or six listings of a true N64 card, this does fit the bill of more of an uncommon than rare. What are your thoughts? Is the word rare used too freely when describing certain games? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys.